Good morning, beautiful people, and welcome to the very first home vlog back after the Royal Easter show. I cannot put it into words how excited I am to finally be back home and in my normal routine, and to honestly just be getting back to the normal vlogs where I just sit down and chit chat with you guys. We're getting back into the swing of things with work, and I'm gonna be trying my best starting this week to attempt to get back into my healthier lifestyle. So the gym, eating healthier, all of that fun stuff. So for breakfast this morning, I have made myself a bowl of protein oats. My oats consist of so much extra ingredients to make them not taste boring. I feel like oats are so boring and they don't taste like anything fun. So the way that I make my oats is just like a handful of oats. I just like pour in however many I want. I do equal parts oats and soy milk. This morning I also added in some vanilla protein powder as well as some cinnamon sugar and honey. So hopefully these taste okay. Hmm. Honestly, so good. So the plan for today was, well, I was supposed to go to the gym this morning. That was what my plan was. But it is now 9.30 almost and I am dressed in normal clothes. I'm not in my active wear. I'm not going to the gym, no. But I figured to make up for that so that I don't feel like absolute shit for telling myself that I was going to go to the gym but not. I figured that I would go for a walk to my favourite coffee shop which is just up the road. If I don't go on this walk this morning, I'm going to feel so shit. For not going to the gym so the podcast for friday is currently uploading that's all good and almost ready to go for you guys the friday before this video did i mention that it's thursday i don't know if i did it's currently thursday the 27th of april and other than my walk this morning i really don't have a lot on i kind of just want to do a bunch of little bits and pieces for to nurture your soul i really want to create a link tree type of situation for to nurture your soul i spoke about this on live yesterday i have like a link tree type of vibe for my personal social medias but i feel like i'm at the stage now where i kind of need one for the business as well i am coming out with a super exciting product next month for may's launch and that product is a physical product as well as a digital product so i want to be able to link that in the description box of the social medias as well i also really really want to start pushing my digital designs my digital custom designs so if you guys didn't know i do offer a custom digital design as a product on our website i'll put a couple examples on the screen here if you want to get a better idea of what I'm talking about. All of these digital images start at around $35 to $40 and then they go up in price depending on how many people are in the image, how many animals are in the image. So many different factors go into the pricing of those images. But yeah, I really want to start pushing those a lot more, especially because in June slash July for three weeks, I'm going to be out of office. I finally booked my UK tickets, you guys. Oh my god, I, I literally can't believe it. I cannot believe it. I feel like a lot has happened since I've actually vlogged last. So yeah, I booked my flights for the UK and I'm going to be over there for three weeks throughout June and July. So I really want to start pushing my digital designs so that I can still be working while I'm over there and, you know, make money to live. So if you're interested in getting a digital design done by me, then feel free to message the To Nurture Your Soul Instagram. What else do I have to update you guys on? I booked my flights for Brisbane as well crazy my life is just full of adventure at the moment and we love to see it that's like so fun for me i will be going to brisbane to visit my bestie bianca for those of you that watched the vlogs before she moved to queensland you would know all about that story she was originally from queensland she moved to newcastle which is where i live for a year for work and that year ended and she had to go back which is really sad and i have not seen her since the beginning of March is when she left, so I booked some flats and I'm going to have a bestie weekend and it's going to be really fun and I honestly cannot wait. Today, I just want to kind of tie up the last little loose ends of things that I have to finish up from while I was away at the show and I just want to start getting new ideas coming to my mind. I want to sit down and I want to think about where I want to nurture your soul to be in six months from now, 12 months from now. So yeah, I don't know, just lots of little bits and pieces today. I need to get on this walk. I've even put on my Apple Watch. That's how you know that I'm getting serious 
about this exercise business. Tell me why I'm sat here crying over Ali Yost TikToks. If you guys, for some crazy reason, have never heard of her, you need to get onto her TikToks. I found her so long ago. These videos that she makes genuinely just like speak to me on a whole nother level. So I thought that I would share this one with you guys today. Hopefully it resonates with you in the same way that it resonated with me. Believe it or not, you are going to miss this. You are going to miss this season that you are living in and you are ripping yourself off from enjoying it by focusing too much on what you don't have. I already look back on seasons of my life where I knew I was wishing and hoping that I was somewhere else rather than enjoying what I was in and I miss those moments. I think the biggest mistake that we can make as humans is not embracing the moment that we're in. I wanted to tell you that I promise you're gonna get to where you need to be, but don't waste your time by wishing and hoping that you were somewhere else. And I can probably bet that you are living out one of the things that you used to pray to God about. You have so much going for you right now. You're gonna get there. Just soak it up and enjoy the moment you're in right now. I love you. Ugh, tell me why I'm crying so hard about that right now. Actual tears are coming down my face. <laughs> that came up on my TikTok just then and it destroyed me. Absolutely destroyed me. I think just because coming back from after the show, things are just like not the way that I thought that they would be coming back. And I have been getting in my head so much about what is gonna happen in six months from now for me and my business, 12 months from now for me and my business. I've been worried about the longevity of my business, if I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. And I don't know, that video just really truly reminded me today to be present enjoy the current stage of life that I'm at because I am so lucky to be living the life that I am and it's so true at the end of that video she said I bet like you're living a life that you once dreamt about Lacey pull yourself together first vlog back and we're already in tears don't look at me cry okay <laughs> and it's just so true like like I always say Lacey from two years ago could never imagine living the life that I am now and I say it all the time and I'm sure you guys are sick of hearing me say it but it's true I don't know that could just not have been a more perfect video for me to watch this morning be grateful for wherever you are at in life right now know that good things are coming know that where you are supposed to be in life is coming and know that you have come so so far from who you were a year ago, two years ago, five years ago, ten years ago. That's my little motivational speech for today. I'm going on my walk now. Enjoy the scenery. little while later I am in the same spot but I've done quite a lot I think it's currently 1 and I just made some lunch I have a chicken burrito bowl one of my favorite things ever but I ran out of tomatoes and I didn't know until I already started making it so it's my regular burrito bowl minus the tomato I'm going to sit here and have a break for a little bit eat this watch some podcasts chill out for like an hour or so I managed to get a lot of digital products onto the website so all of the a4 zodiac sign prints are now digital versions on there so you can download a one-time copy you can print it however many times you want do whatever you would like with it and I also sent out a promo email for that I also did a few marketplace advertisements hopefully they get some sort of traction fingers crossed and I also made a couple TikToks and stuff like that so I've been pretty productive when it comes to the business I think I will continue to do a little bit more this afternoon so there's still lots of little bits and pieces that I can get done I'm feeling very like free with my time since being back from the show I have so much more time to put back into like marketing and promotion and stuff like that for the business so yeah I'm excited I think starting next week I'm going to start working on the next 
coloring book that I plan on doing. I also have recently downloaded the app Adipole, which if you haven't heard of it, it's pretty much just a app that allows you to get paid to do surveys. I found it randomly on TikTok one day and I was like, you know what? I need to add another stream of income to my life, even if it is just a little side thing. I've been doing that literally like two in the morning when I wake up, two before bed and I think I'm already at like $20 and I started on Monday. I feel like that's pretty good for just like sitting and doing it in times when I would otherwise be scrolling Instagram. And I think it's something that will also motivate me talking about the gym this morning. I think it will make me stay on the treadmill for longer while I'm at the gym. Normally when I'm on the treadmill, I'm like not doing anything. I'm like literally counting down the minutes till I can get off. But if I have something to do like these surveys, then I'm gonna wanna be on the treadmill for longer. So I'm making money and exercising more. I'll leave the link to add a poll in the description box down below if you guys feel like signing up and making a couple extra dollars yourself. It's for those times when you're like waiting for your coffee if you go and order it somewhere or if you travel a lot. I feel like doing them on long car rides or train rides or while you're waiting at the airport even. I don't know. I'm really excited about it and I'm really enjoying it. I am going to share with you guys my silent theory haul for this month and also a haul of all the different products that I got from small businesses at the show, which I'm very excited about. So... I'm just going to quickly eat this first and relax my brain for like half an hour. And then I will share with you all the bits and pieces that I've picked up recently. So I figured I would sit down in my regular little spot to share with you all my collective haul of all of the bits and pieces that I have either bought myself or kindly been gifted over the past month. So I am going to start with all of the amazing small businesses from the show. I walked around a lot at the show and I had a full... 11 to 12 days to shop around and have a look at what my fellow business people were selling and there was so many cute stores i did end up picking up one piece of clothing which i'm actually so excited about i wore it in the last podcast episode and the main reason that i picked it up is because it is green and I am so freaking obsessed with it. So this right here is just an oversized slouchy cardigan type of thing. This is by the brand Stellino, I think. Is that how you say that? Stellino? I honestly have no idea. But either way, I am absolutely obsessed with this. The color is like the perfect shade of green. It literally matches the blanket that I have on my bed like almost exactly. It's got some really cute big brown buttons and then it also has some really big pockets as well. Um, and the sleeves are like nice and wide which makes it super cozy and comfy. I mainly was trying to find pieces that I will wear for my UK trip and I feel like this is just going to be an essential if my girlfriend doesn't steal it off me first. So the next thing that I have to share with you guys, I actually haven't even opened it myself, but this is a little soap stick. I didn't actually buy this myself. This was kindly gifted to me by my little neighbors at the show. I lent them a Sharpie to write on one of their signs and then she just popped around the corner and gave me this and I had absolutely no idea what it was, obviously. It's like wrapped in tissue paper. I think she could tell on my face that I was a little bit confused and she was like, it's a soap stick for letting me borrow your sharpie and i was like stop so so sweet so this is by a little business called hammam australia and this is their white cedar soap stick which i thought was so sweet so the next thing that i did decide to pick up is a little green bracelet with a wave on it um, I actually picked one of these up for me and one for my partner and we have matching ones now, which is very cute. The brand is Poco Loco. This brand is at every single show that you will go to. They were at the Newcastle show, they're at the Sydney show. I think they're a super popular, just cheap jewelry brand but the people who own it and work for them are super super lovely and they were across from me as well next up is my favorite business from the show that i got to meet and hang out with and get to know and that brand is called tilia and these are two of their pins which how freaking cute this one first of all men trash yes you could not get a more me pin if you tried and then the other one that i got says belief in yourself 
which is so cute. So I figured that these were the perfect two to pick up. I highly, highly recommend going and checking out Tilia if you guys haven't already. I will try and find all the businesses that I'm mentioning and leave them linked in the description box down below so that you can go and check them out. How freaking cute. I have no idea where I'm going to put these yet. Maybe on like my travel backpack. I'm going to be traveling a lot, as you guys know, over the next few months. So I feel like it could be cute to start to get like a little bit of a pin collection. And then the final small business that I have to share with you guys today is called the Lavina Collection. And this business is run by one of the most beautiful girls that I have ever come into contact with in my life. She just has the most welcoming and kind personality. I don't know. She just had really, really good vibes. And she was someone that I was talking to about the show prior to going to the show so we kind of connected earlier and we're freaking out about the show as it was getting closer and closer we decided to do a little swap so I gave her some stuff from my store and I had some stuff from her store so I decided to pick out two different things the first thing that I decided to pick up is this little mushroom keychain how freaking cute is that? I'm obsessed. My keys at the moment are very, very plain and boring. And then the second thing that I picked up from her store is this cute little tote bag. And it says, I came, I saw, I had anxiety, so I left. Which mood and the reason i picked it up is because it's so different to the ones that i have on my store this one is a lot smaller which i actually appreciate a lot i think that this will be perfect for day to day it's super thick and it definitely feels like it's going to last a really really long time so obsessed love it and that is all of the little bits and pieces that i've picked up from the royal easter show in sydney i do want to share with you guys what i picked up from silent theory this month as well but i just i could not with that lighting i don't know where to set you guys up or how because <laughs> i don't really want like my calendar in the background either i feel like i'm getting pretty close to a six month long relationship with silent theory which just makes my heart so freaking happy i'm so excited about it so you guys know these videos aren't sponsored silent theory gifted me these products to make tiktoks and reels for them so i'm under no obligation at all to share these with you but i just genuinely love sharing them with you because it's my favorite time of the month i love them so freaking much so the very first thing that i decided to pick up is of course another oversized t-shirt i'm literally that predictable at this point but this is just a green oversized t-shirt it says silent theory and it is is embroidered with metallic thread which is just so freaking beautiful i am obsessed pick this one up in a size medium i'm pretty sure this is from the men's section as well but i figured i would get in at least one more oversized t-shirt before the winter months come along and i probably should start picking up something a little bit warmer speaking of things that are a little bit warmer i picked up their three pack of long sleeve ribbed tops these three packs are one of my favorite things to pick up on the silent theory website i've previously gotten their short sleeve ones for the summertime and i have shared that in some hall somewhere we have a black one a white one and also a green one which I'm so excited. I feel like this long sleeve green one will go so well with the baggy black cargo pants that I got in last month's haul. So yeah, super excited. I actually already have the white version of this top and I just genuinely think you cannot have enough long sleeve white tops. The next thing that I decided to pick up, I am so freaking excited about. I saw these modeled on their Instagram and I freaked the fuck out. I wanted this set so bad and i honestly almost jumped on the website and purchased it myself but luckily i was able to pick it up in this month's package that they sent me so this is the silent theory one collection the tracky bottoms and hoodie i am so obsessed the color is everything the fit is everything the comfiness is everything i'm always at home in my comfy clothes but i also always have to like pop out here and there and having something that is home appropriate as well as quickly popping to the shops appropriate is one of my favorite things ever and then the very last thing that i did decide to pick up is currently sitting on my suitcase back there so i need to actually get up to show it to you guys but the very last thing that i was able to pick up is this really massive black coat and the reason i have it sitting on my suitcase is because i just know i'm not going to get a chance to wear this before my trip to the uk and i'm definitely bringing this with me when i go i feel like this is going to be like the perfect 
nighttime jacket because it is going to be summer when I go to the UK but for nighttime I'm quite concerned that I am going to be constantly very very cold <laughs> so I'm super excited obviously does not go with this outfit but it's pretty much just a plain black super long coat I literally am so obsessed with it i think it's very very cute the quality is amazing and what i said in my actual haul on instagram was the fact that this is like warm and it's thick but it's not super super thick to the point where you literally can't wear it in australia <laughs> so i think i'm gonna get the perfect amount of use out of it when i do go to the uk and then when i come back it's gonna be australian winter which i think that this will work perfectly for i love it that is my little silent theory haul i hope you guys enjoyed seeing what i picked up this month if you would like to shop on silent theory's website you can use my code lacy15 and that will get you a little bit of money off your order i know there's quite a few of you now that love seeing my silent theory packages every month and that makes me so excited because i love sharing them with you guys genuinely i feel like so cool getting my package from them every month i feel like i definitely need to do a wardrobe declutter soon though because i'm just wearing all my silent theory outfits from the past few months and all of my old sheen clothes need to go in the trash because i don't wear them anymore ever so maybe that will be in a vlog over the upcoming weeks or something i'm gonna take this off now and i'm going to sit down and do a little bit more work to finish off the day i'm gonna sit down at my computer and see if there's any other little bit and pieces that I can do for to nurture your soul. If not, I honestly might start editing this vlog because I need to be doing something.